On behalf of Congregation Shalom, and of course from my own heart, I want to wish you the most wonderful 40th anniversary, and may you have many, many, many more. We will say a quick mochi over this challah that I have here. Baruch Hi, my name is Tony Lonstein, in case you don't know. This is a Mazal Tov to Susan and Willard on 40 years of a wonderful time together. What a great and very, very well done. I'm really pleased to be here share this time with you and uh, Mazal Tov again. Thank you so much. So, your name? Your name is Mark. His name is Mark. I'm Patty. Nice and loud. Mark and Patty. And we want to say happy, happy anniversary to Willard and Susan. We love you. It's been many years. And have a fabulous 40, 50, 60 years together. We've known them for nearly over 30 years. Wonderful. And um, I'm surprised that Susan is still married to Willard. <laughs> I know that Willard would be married to Susan. And Sounds like an interesting couple. They are. They've both been influential to us over the years. Wonderful. And we very much appreciate the fact that they've done so much for others and will continue to do that. Thank you very much. than you thought you had. <laughs> so the program is, you're, you're going to have lunch, a second lunch, because I know some of you ate the appetizers like We get that. lunch now? Just wait a minute. <laughs> I got to finish my routine. <laughs> no, I don't want to. No, one more minute. <laughs> If anybody wants to give me a gift, I only want one thing. That's my youth. And I forgot where I left it. So the program is, you're going to have lunch. And then Susan has bribed me with divorce and a huge settlement if I don't go through a renewal of this marriage. And if you know me at all, besides the fact I love my family, or some of my family, I love my money. And I can't afford a divorce. So I guess I'm going to get married a second time. And now I'm in trouble because she told me if I said half the things I just said, she was going to divorce me. Look at that. We were signing our ketubah 40 years ago. That's the marriage contract. And George, oh, I forgot. George back there says, Willard, you better not mess that signature up because we're signing in Hebrew in, in, with special ink and all of that. He goes, you better not mess up that ketubah or your wife will kill you. And he goes, wife? He goes, Susan's getting married, I'm not. <laughs> so I have 
every anniversary, I went, are we going to renew our vows? So this is the time, 40 years later, Willard's getting married. Oh. <laughs> We're doing the slideshow before they eat. The boss, the real boss, right? Queen Rachel. So who am I turning this over to, Rachel? I don't know, probably me. Probably you? All right, so Rachel said that she has a slideshow presentation before she lets you eat lunch. So Rachel, where are you going? Willard, yes. if you're the one getting married, are you planning any children? <laughs> well, I've told you years ago, I've decided you shouldn't get married, and I was going to tell my children not to do get married either. But that reminded me, will everybody who was at our original wedding please stand up? If, if you weren't at our original wedding, make sure you visit these people and give them their condolences for being friends of mine for over 40 years. Well, they don't work for me. Oh, Gail works for me. She's worked for me. She got a job with me in 1974. And she's been trying to get away from me. She got married twice, and she keeps coming back to me. So she's been with me since 1974. That's longer than, than Harvey and George and I don't remember. Oh, Marilyn. Marilyn goes back before the, the Great Earthquake. My name is 71. All right, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving the, yeah, 71, George. All right, I'm giving the microphone to Rachel. I'm therefore not responsible for anything that happens from this moment on. Hi, everybody. Hi. Obviously, you all know that I'm now Willard's daughter. Um, I'm going to say a small something really quick to my parents. It only took you seven Susans and seven Volkswagens to find mom who then actually agreed to marry you. Boy, does the nickname crazy lady suit her. <laughs> then a few years later, you had this crazy idea to adopt two crazy kids. And then 40 years, the 40 year adventure really begins from family trips, to bar and bat mitzvahs, to sending us off to camp for the summer for some peace of mind. <laughs> Not knowing we would, go, we would beg you to go every summer from there. Crazy trips to the Grand Canyon in December, thinking we'd see a big hole. <laughs> to traveling to Alaska to see a big block of ice. From weddings to graduation, to one day grandkids, we love you mom and dad, and here's a story of time.
brother Aaron. trip to the Grand Canyon. Oh, 
much more can we be joyful when there's really something to be joyful? Ah! To life! To life! The time! To Zeit, my daughter! My wife! That gives you something to think about. Something to drink about. Drink the fire!
they made me treasurer, and I had to balance the budget. So we ended up hiring four part-time rabbis that would work for peanuts. And I bought a truckload of peanuts to give them for paying them every week for their services. So we have two of our rabbis here. Where is um, Karen? Karen, will you stand up? And Karen got ordained just recently, and Rachel's going to get ordained recently, so they've been with us so long that they decided they better graduate them and make them official rabbis because they don't want them to stay here anymore. <laughs> so Rachel is going to do the abotzi, which is the blessing over the bread. You, you didn't know that you're in Jewish services here. Uh, I'm just telling you that you're in the presence of a bunch of Jews. <laughs> Not everybody, but some of you are. Some of you are. Okay, now I'll let her give the instructions. Here, here you go. There's the microphone. You do whatever you need to do. Okay, what a joy and a privilege and an honor to be here. So. We'll make it quick because everyone is hungry. We haven't had enough to eat yet. If you hold up your wine or your grape juice. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei So each table has a beautiful challah. I'd like to say I made all of these myself. If you lift up your challah, we'll say the blessing over the bread. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Hamotzi Lechem in Haaretz B'Teyachom Now you may legally eat. All right, go ahead and eat. What about Karen? Oh, yeah, Karen the bread. Yeah, you got to eat at least an olive-sized piece of bread to make it official. And then go ahead and have lunch. And Susan and I are going to get ready for the wedding. Uh, if I don't come back, you know what happened.
Mom. Mom. No, no. Just sit down. No, no. Can you win? Yeah. But I just have to get the tally. Yeah, one more kiss like that. What do you want? A kiss. Shush. All right. Are you finished? I'm finished. You're finished. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Oh boy. All right, so be in the weather. Come on. 